the people that you love, your friends, your loved ones are all enjoying this amazing view of the hills and better yet, the sunset. Hello everyone! Today, we will feature a massive property nestled along the rolling hills of Antipolo. This laid-back home located within one of the top cities in Rizal is perfect as it is surrounded by lush greeneries, open spaces, and a beautiful city skyline view. This property features 5 bedrooms, 4 toilet and baths, 7 vehicle carport, a pool, and a view deck all within a floor area of 2,000 square meters on a 1,382 square meters lot. So join us today and let's find the dream home you've always been looking for. again to another amazing episode and for today we will be touring you inside this beautiful modern zen design inspired home and right from the facade the outside you can already tell that it's very beautiful and it has a lot of characteristics to it now from the facade you can already see this harmonious integration of all of the materials used the white clean lines wood greeneries around the area and that huge japanese inspired windows now it gives you that minimalistic the balanced minimalistic feel right so now i know that you guys are excited to go to our main house but before that let's go over to this side now if you're a fan or if you're someone who's fond of inviting over your friends your guests and your family for gatherings and parties well this is definitely the perfect home for you or estate rather because right behind me is not just one guest house but two yes you guys heard it right we have two guest houses and without further ado let's get on to our guest house number one but again before that i just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already so go ahead and click that subscribe button you can also follow us on our social media platforms we have our facebook and instagram at official top realty we also have our website www.toprealty.com .ph. Okay, so are we good? Let's go! Okay, wow! <laughs> it seems like a duplex, right? Your guest houses, but we'll get to guest house number two later on. Let's proceed over to this area. So this is your two carport garage. Yes, for both of the guest houses. Okay, so this is your main entryway. So we have here your access to your lanai and over to the other side as well. And here too in the middle. So you have provisions here for washing or whatsoever, a lounging area if you want. It depends on you guys, but let's get on again to guest house number one. Ooh. Now, this is a very spacious guest house. I didn't expect it to be this wide and bright. Well, probably because of the color that they chose for it. This is a Scandinavian inspired design. So we have here your windows, which can be opened for more ventilation. So we have this here over to this wall and on that side as well. This floor mounted air conditioner is included in the sale. So that's great. This is your lounging area or your welcoming area. Well, better yet, your lounging. So this can fit a huge sofa, sectional sofa even. So over to this side or this wall, I'll show you guys. You can put your TV, a console for your guests, 
right? So if they wanted to play the PlayStation or just watch Netflix, they can do that. Now, this is a very cute and pretty kitchen. So over to this side is your double sink. Very spacious enough for your preparation for your food. And your powder room. Okay, so complete with the water closet and the sink. Okay, so before we head on upstairs, I just wanted to point out that underneath the staircase, they used it for their storage. So they put shelving to it, which, which is very smart, especially if you're trying to maximize the space in your home. Now, let's get on to the second floor. Okay. So I <laughs> just noticed the awesome contemporary lighting fixtures that we have as we go up. But anyway, so this is your second floor for guest house number one. It's very spacious upon landing. Now this can be your receiving area for the second floor, but it can also be turned into a bedroom because this has the ensuite toilet in the back, which is over to this side. Okay, so just wanted to point that out and over here is another interesting part of this guest house. So you have here your awesome corner windows, which extends up to the end of each wall. So you have these, this awesome view of the front of the house and the side of the house as well. Okay, so this can easily fit a king size bed because this is very spacious and still ample space for two to three more beds. Wow. And I also noticed that the hues in this room kind of change. So this time it's a faint grayish color. And just look at that ceiling. It's inclined and the LED lightings are just divine. This must look so awesome, especially during the evening. Now, before we proceed to guest house number two, I just wanted to show you this balcony. So let's go. Okay. So this is a wraparound balcony. So you have this unobstructed view of the hills or of the forest, if you want me to call it that. So this is just amazing. And yes look at that you can see the cities okay so you can see all of these unobstructed view of the nature the hills the city it's beautiful so yes let's go back inside okay okay so i also wanted to say guys that this is the same layout as with the guest house number two Okay, so that's it for guest house number one. Now this time we're going out through the side axis and it's time to see guest house number two. So let's go. Okay, so I heard that guest house number two has a completely different design. So I'm super excited. So let's go. All right. Guest house number two. And boy, this has a completely different design. This time it's industrial. So you see it here on your shelvings, on the lights, you have these amazing LED strip lights on your ceilings, which gives this space a lot of character. You have here your cement walls. So yes, this is very unique. And this is a unique characteristic of industrial design homes. So over to this area are your windows, which you can open up for more ventilation. So this is a good space or good size for your foyer. You can put in a console or a centerpiece as a welcoming piece if you want to. Now this is your living area. Very, very spacious right now. They even have this big coffee table and the lounging right over to that area. 
oh, I love it. I just love the ceiling lights. And of course, the AC, which is included in the sale. So again, another cute um, finishing as an industrial designed home. Okay, so over here is their four to six dining set. Yes, you can fit that much. And adjacent to it is the access to the main house, pool, and lanai. So we'll get to that later on. Now behind me is this fully functional kitchen. So you have lots of shelvings over to this side. And this is your provision for the refrigerator. So as of the moment, they can even fit a double door refrigerator. So here you have ample space for your counter, for your preparation, um, storage underneath, your range hood, and your gas range. Oh, and over to this door is your powder room. So this is actually a very good size for a guest house, huh? Like some of the guest houses that I have seen, it's much smaller than this, but this one is pretty spacious. Now let's go up to the second floor. Okay. So we're here on the second floor of the guest house number two. So I like it that it doesn't immediately open up to the bed. So it has a door which serves as a little bit of privacy for those who are going to be occupying this home. Now, right here, we have a bed and a work or study area. You can do that. Well, you can also put a lounging area in here, which can serve as a common room because behind you guys is another bedroom, but we are not going there anymore because someone is occupying it. Now, before we head onto that area, I would just like to point out that over to this side, so we have here your glass screen door and your glass door, which leads to guest house number two's own balcony. And actually, this is a wraparound balcony, which gives you an amazing view of the hills. Okay? Yes, a lot of space. You even have windows right over here for more ventilation. Now, over to this door is... The ensuite toilet and bath. It's complete with a water closet, the sink, and the enclosed shower area. So now let's go back. Oh, okay. So over to this side, by the way, we have a side access from guest house number one. Now it's time to go to the main house. So let's go. Okay. Wow, two beautiful guest houses. Now, the guest houses have these, this access, this side access, all the way to your main entryway. So we have these stone pathways. Yay, we're almost there. But before we go to our main house, I wanted to show you over to this side this is your four to five carport so definitely it can fit more if you have smaller vehicles but right now it's being used as a gym so we have here your gym equipment and this also has an access to the service area or the laundry area okay let's go back to the main entryway all right so I just wanted to take our time to admire this stunning elevated steps going to our main door. And not just that, it's actually surrounded and framed by this koi pond. And did you guys know that koi ponds actually brings peace and serenity to a home? And not just the home, but the homeowners as well, bringing them tranquility and luck for those who take good care of them. Yeah, and so if you wanted to have a koi fish in your home, then I would highly suggest that. Okay, so this is our enormous main door. <laughs> this is a solid wooden door with black steel handles and a digital door lock. Now I'm excited to go inside, so let's go.
What an amazing space. Now, upon entering, you are immediately greeted with this amazing space for a foyer. Now you have these walls right here, which is a perfect canvas for your artworks as your welcoming piece. And with this much space, you can even put a centerpiece as well. Wow. And over here, I just wanted to take my time to admire this beautiful and stunning open layout. You can almost see some or most of the features of this beautiful home here on the inside and on the outside. Okay, so over here, if you would see, we have here your Japanese-inspired windows, an end-to-end -end at that, giving you all of these natural lightings, which is very present in this beautiful home. And it's not just here on the first floor, the ground floor, but it's also present on the upper floors as well. All right. So now, this is your living area, one of your main areas. Now you have this double height ceiling, which is very beautiful. If you would notice, we have here your beautiful glass-framed chessboard as a centerpiece or here at your table, which is very beautiful. And I think this is also included in the sale. All right, wow. It's like everywhere you look, there's a unique feature in this home, even this accent wall right here, right? You can even put a huge artwork if you want to. And then, now we're on to your dining area. So your dining area, you can definitely fit a 12 to 14 seater. Right now we have this 12 seater dining set. Very nice. You have your side windows or your glass windows over here overlooking the side of the house. Now adjacent to your beautiful dining area is your formal kitchen. Now your formal kitchen is has somatic cabinets all throughout. You have over here your kitchen table and sink. All right, we'll get to that later on. You have all of this counter space for your food preparation, for your kitchen equipment, and all of these cabinets are somatic. So this is a German brand really premium at that have your shelvings for your condiments your plates and of course your wolf hood and cooktop again a lot of storage underneath you have your double sink right here which is very convenient if you're serving your guests if you're serving a number of people actually you have your double sink lots of storage your provision for your refrigerator and this, your kitchen table, this kitchen table can also serve as a breakfast nook. Okay, perfect. Again, beautiful shelvings all throughout. So they have some things inside, so we wouldn't look too much into that, but look at this cabinet. It goes so well with the rest of the house, with the theme of the rest of the house, and it's just so sleek and stunning. Okay, now over to this side is our powder room and the service area. So let's go. Okay, so this is your door to the powder room. It's very, very beautiful. So you have marble tiles, a beautiful sink and counter. You have your water closet and it's just very, very well designed. Now over to this door is your access back to your garage. And on my left is the service area or where you can see the industrial or the dirty kitchen. So before we go back to our main areas, I just wanted to show you guys these set of cabinets. So for these cabinets, if you wanted to keep some valuables in, you can access this through this, what do you call this, key card or something. So you just have to press this and it opens and it's the same thing if you wanted to lock it, okay? Right now, this is used as a shoe cabinet. Okay, so now we're back here in our beautiful main area. Can you just imagine and how this would look like during the evening with all of the lights and all the glass panels? 
Now over to this side before we head on upstairs is our first room. So are you guys ready? Okay. So we're now here. Wow, it suddenly went quiet because this is the entertainment room or at least this is how they used it as of the moment but definitely you can convert this to a gym an office or another bedroom but definitely this is perfect as an entertainment area like how they're using it right now they have their gadgets in here and the main sound system control is right over at this room as well so we have windows all over this um, this room and the sectional couch now can you imagine turning this into a man cave you know your chesterfield sofas that would look so amazing with this room and what's so amazing with this room is you also have your own access to the lanai and the pool area which is perfect if you are hosting your guests so from here they can go right through this common area which I will be showing you guys later on. But now, let's go back to our main areas. Okay. So I've also noticed that some of the floors with different areas are changing. Like in the entertainment room, they have this kind of wooden floor. And in the formal kitchen, they have a different type of tile as well for the flooring so for me that's very well thought out it separates each room but it's definitely an open layout so everything feels so open and spacious now i can't wait to go up to the upper floor so are you guys ready let's go And also I noticed that the wood material used for the stairs and the railings is solid narrow wood. So it can definitely last you a lifetime. And just look at what kind or the character that it adds up to this beautiful home. It's just, I'm just speechless with how beautiful it is. And also for this floor, we have four bedrooms. But of course, since this is a very special home, we'd go straight right to the master bedroom. So are you guys ready? Let's go. Mm. Of course. We spared no expense with all of the materials used in this room. This is your master bedroom once again. And wow. So over here are sliding doors which give you access to the viewing deck, which we will show you guys later on. You have these beautiful corner windows, which overlooks this amazing view. Again, now with this much space, you can definitely put a king size bed like what we have right now. So I guess this is also included with the sale. You have here your sofa, which also has storage inside, which means this is an Ottoman. And this, the materials used here is the same with the headboard used for the king size bed. Wow. Okay, so over to this door is your ensuite toilet and bath, but this is not your ordinary toilet and bath because, well, let's find out. Ooh, very nice. Now, this is the ensuite toilet and bath for the master bedroom, and right behind me is the walk in closet. So, all of the space, yes, for your wardrobe. Grabe, hanggang taas, ba? Oops, there are items or stuff inside, so we wouldn't go through them anymore. But definitely, you can see right now, there, there's a lot of storage. I actually want this for my own wardrobe. And you can even put an island bar in here or a table for your accessories or as a mirror if you want. So. It depends on you guys and just look at all of the flooring this is very consistent even to the walls but a different texture of course and what's so special about this ensuite toilet bath is 
the sauna. So imagine having your own sauna in your bathroom, diba? Wow. So this can fit two people. I don't really know much on what to say, but this is amazing. So if you're feeling like you need to sweat it out or you just want to relax, well, you can do so in your own ensuite toilet and bath. Amazing. Now this is your water closet, your huge mirrors right over to the side, your sink, even though it's not his and hers, this is very spacious, this is very big. You have your space for all of your toiletries and of course your enclosed shower area which is sliding by the way. Not only that, you have these corner windows which overlooks the front of the house. Of course you can pull down the curtains if you want to for more privacy and yes. The tiles are up to your ceiling, which makes it more higher. I mean, the ceiling height to be higher appears to be, yeah, very beautiful. Now, let's go back to the master. Wow. So again, you can see your corner windows here overlooking the front of the house and before I forget look at these Italian tiles as your wall accent it goes so well with the theme of the whole house and it's just so so beautiful now I told you earlier that we have four bedrooms over to this floor and this is our second room so let's go okay nice Again, you have all of these glass panels over to this side and you have here ample space for lounging and just like how they use it, they put a study area or a work area. You guys can do that as well. Okay, so this can easily fit a queen or a king size bed, which is very fitting with this kind of space. Now, almost, I think half of the walls in this room consist of glass panels or glass windows which makes this room feel so open and a lot more spacious right okay beautiful and you can put in curtains if you don't want too much light in the morning or at mid noon so over to this door is the ensuite toilet and bath it's complete and closed showers and everything so let's go back Wow. So actually, I was wondering earlier and why it's so bright and light here on the second floor. Well, almost all of the walls over to this floor are glass windows or glass panels. So yes, it's definitely bright. And also, you can open the middle part if you want more ventilation. So that's it. Now, for our third bedroom, someone is occupying it as of the moment, so we wouldn't go there anymore. It has the same layout as with the other bedrooms anyway, so you can see it right now. Okay. Oh, before we go inside, I just wanted to show you guys on what I am seeing right now. So if I stay here, I can definitely see some of the areas of our main area. Of course, from the view deck, which we'll show you guys later on, and some portions of the lanai and the pool area. So, are you guys ready to go to our last bedroom? Okay. The last bedroom. Okay. So, over to this room, it's a good space and for this wall, you have these amazing glass panels, which you can open up again for ventilation. And you have this unobstructed view of the hills of Antipolo. Well, 
<laughs> it's the best view, some of the best views that I have seen and this time it's in your own home. So can you imagine that? Now they used it as of the moment as a lounging or a common area for the family but definitely you can convert this into a full-on bedroom because it has its own ensuite, toilet and bath. Okay, so now let's go back. Okay. Yan. So we're back here at the landing area and I've wanted to check out this part of this home. So this is the bridge and it's gorgeous. Right? Just imagine having your photos taken here. Mm. And also you have this view of your main area. So over here I can definitely see the living area. And over to this side is the dining and the kitchen. Now, what's behind this door? I know you guys can already see it, but of course, we wanted to check out what's behind this door. Parang, it's a portal to another world, right? So, let's go. Oh, grabe naman. This is your deck. So this is just half of it. You can put lounging areas in here like they did and they even play some fitness equipments because what a better way to work out but to have this amazing, amazing view. I mean, look at this, you guys. Wow, Deva. Right? Can you imagine having your parties and your gatherings in here? Or, you know, having a bar and having a lounge in here and then some music and then the people that you love your friends your loved ones are all enjoying this amazing view of the hills and better yet the sunset i mean this is this is just on another level i mean the view is unobstructed and it's not just the hills that you can see from here but the city as well wow I mean, to be honest, this has got to have some of the best view, if not the best views that I have seen in my entire life. And it's the comfort of your own home. On this side as well, you can see all of these luscious gardens, right? And over to this side, you can see the city. But that's not all, you guys. Of course, we saved the best for last. So come with me. Oh, wow. Look at that! Very picturesque. It's a perfect background, right? So, let's go. Wow, I mean, <laughs> ang ganda! Okay, so before we go over to that side, I wanted to show you this part. So this is the lanai. As you can see, we have here your hammock. A very beautiful hammock. You have lounging areas in here. Your lanai is also accessible through the theater room or the entertainment room. You have your bar counter in here, of course, if you're hosting a number of guests. And of course, a shower area, a common shower area right at the back. But of course, <laughs> kailangan na natin makita at madama ang moment na ito. So you have here your lounging areas because you have the most amazing view and feel of this house. This is the highlight of this home. Wow, the view, the unobstructed view, and of course this pool, this pool is heated. So you can enjoy your mornings and your evenings in here. So let's go over to this side. Don't worry you guys, this is safe because that area is still cemented. I mean, wow, right? Just imagine taking a dip at your pool and having this view of all of the hills and the city. Grabe, diba? This is a huge pool, by the way. Again, this is heated. You have here your kitty pool. So if you have kids, then don't worry about this being too deep. And ang ganda. Diba? And look at all of that stone elements. It stays true to its design. This is very beautiful indeed, like I'm watching the sunset right now. And yes, over to this side is your access to the basement.
So that's it. Ang ganda, di ba? Well, there you have it. There's your modern zen inspired or design hall. I mean, this is really beautiful, you guys. <laughs> Wow, this is indeed a breathtaking property. Now, this is perfect for families who wanted the peace and the quiet, the zen, just like what this home is all about. But also, this is perfect for those who loves entertaining guests, who loves having their family and their friends over because of all of the lounging areas all over this home, enough rooms and spaces for to accommodate everyone the heated pool right below us i mean wow and most importantly the view right we have two decks to to have this amazing view of the hills the city and the sunset just like what you are seeing behind me now if you are interested to see this stunning and beautiful home in person well don't hesitate to contact us via the numbers that you see below again i'm princess and this is top realty your partner in real estate. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as we did. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so you get notified of our new uploads. Also, if you are interested in selling or enlisting your property with us, please do message us and it might just get featured on our channel.